So guys, this is an update on my videos on how to solve sequences and series with the Casio calculator. Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at how to solve these tricky problems involving sequences and series with the Casio calculator. So let's get the calculator and go into the details of the video. Okay, so I just came across this kind of question and I was able to figure out how to solve it with the Casio calculator fast and easily. This is a new trick I just discovered on solving this kind of problems and I decided to share it with you guys knowing that it will really help you a lot. So let's start and look at how to solve this problem fast with the Casio calculator. The question one says the fifth term of this is the values we have tn equals 2n plus 1 over n plus 1 is what? Okay. So to solve this kind of problem, you go to mode on your Casio F Penal One ES Plus calculator. So under mode, you go to press option seven, press seven for option seven. So when you press seven, you, you come to this page within f of x equals word. So we are going to impute the values of f of x. That's our function. So the function there is two n plus one over n plus one. So it's in fraction. We have we are going to replace n with x here on the calculator. So two alpha x plus one okay over alpha x plus one. So that's the function we have there. Okay. So now let's press equal to press equal to again. Once you get here, press equal to again. Okay, now once you pay attention here, very, very important. Since we are looking for the fifth term, all right. Now, depending on what you want, you can choose to start from one. Okay, so you want the calculator to give you your values starting from either the first term or the second term or the third term or the or the fourth term. Okay, okay let me say I don't want to start from one. Let me say I want to. Since we are looking for the fifth term, I can decide to start from the third term this is what I was saying start from one I can decide to start from three okay then first equal to and end at since I'm looking for the fifth term so it will show me the third term show me the fourth term and the fifth term if I end at five now whereas if I extend to end at six or at seven show me both the sixth term and the seventh term in that order or in that sequence okay but since we are looking for the fifth term since we have already commanded the calculator to start from there to show us the output let's end at five since we are looking for the fifth term so end at five is okay with us so first equal to step one first equal to again so you see it started from three so the third term is one point seven five okay the so the fourth term is one point eight and the fifth term is one point eight three so right now we have gotten our answer 1.83. So if we now to the options are in fraction, we break it down into decimal to see the one and give you 1.83, and that will be your answer. So let's remove this. To remove it entirely, just press this mode button, press one, and it will remove or clear the calculator. Anyone will be okay. So remember how we got 1.83. So 11 over 6 is the same thing as 1.83 let's verify okay first is the 1.8 okay so the answer to this question is what option a so it's as simple as that guys let's do one more question so that you understand it better the second question there says the seventh term of t and equals in bracket one over three to the power bracket close the power n minus one is what okay so let's go back to our mode option seven that's for table so f of s equals the imputed function is in brackets and also in fraction. So you're going to have one over three. Okay, come here and close the bracket. The power is replace the n with x, very important. Upper x minus one. So we are looking at the seventh looking for the seventh term. So this place you to first of all when you get here so since we are looking at the seventh term let's decide to start from 
the fifth term so that we get the values fast or the value we are looking for fast let's start from the fifth term okay and end at seven so it will give us three values the fifth term the sixth term and the seventh term hope you understand what i'm trying to explain so end at what seven since we are looking for the seventh term not the fifth term so if press seven then press the quarter press the quarter again step one press the quarter again so you see we have the fifth term to be 0 0.0123 we have the fifth term to be 4.1 and we have the seventh term to be 1.3 okay so right now we 1.3 or if you see here uh, it's showing us one divided by seven to nine okay so this is the correct answer is your option c the sixth term is one over two four three that's what this thing stands for the fifth term is one over eight one the seventh time what are looking for that one over seven two nine which is what option c okay is as simple as that guys let's simplify one over seven two nine but answer is option c and c what going to give us so let's remove everything here so we press one okay so we have one over seven two nine because well, so i've already known our answer press sd so we have zero point this value so our answer is basically this option c one one over seven two nine okay so if you want to express this value in standard form you're going to have when you move this point to at the center between this one and three you're going to have 1.3 times 10 to the power negative 3 okay so anyone will work so our answer is option so one, one over seven two nine so that's how you can solve this kind of problem this kind of tricky problem involving sequences and series with this casio calculator basically if you are solving this kind of problem manually is it will take you like a good amount of time to reason out okay on how to go about it but with this kind of calculator is straightforward just input the values and give you the command and it will give you your output fast and in seconds hope you find this video interesting once more if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel or what i learned from this video if you seem to have any specific questions asked regarding this video feel free to give your question at the comment section below and i'll be sure to give you a response that's it for this class don't forget to reset your calculator or clearly once you are done just press shift button 9 put the instruction and your calculator will be cleared okay i will see you in my subsequent video